talking with Nancy Blair. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Hey, doing You're great. You're with Lumens. Absolutely. And Lumens is famous for their ladybugs because everybody's got a ladybug out there. That's right. But you got a new product out right we now. We do. Oh, this is what is the new product? This is our brand new document camera. It's going to be released this year. Okay. It is the 3D ladybug. It's the world's a, very first 3D document a camera. A 3D document camera. Okay, so I'm like looking all at it. So why do I want a 3D document camera? What's nice about the 3D document camera is it's the only product on the market that will allow teachers to custom create 3D content for their students. So any manipulative science experiments, reading activities that they're doing with their students, things right. they already have in their classroom, they can show in 3D. Okay, so let's see. How does it work? All right, so it's like, again. It's like we've stepped into Star Trek here. So Yeah, tell, basically tell the camera has... Looks like a, like a modified uh, ladybug kind of it, thing. It yeah? is, and okay. it has two lenses in it. Okay, so, it's so I'm able going to go into there, these. looking at the lenses there. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm looking at the lenses. Okay. And it projects a stereoscopic image. Okay. So... And each one of these little lights is the, the each lens? Is that what that is? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, yes. well, okay, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so anything you put under there, whether it's art activities, okay, still lives, Finger puppets for Reader's Theater. Awesome, love those guys. Uh, so a lot of these activities that we do are K-5 with uh -huh. manipulatives, help students to understand abstract concepts, make them more concrete. Our brains are programmed to see the world in 3D, right. so we retain information and images that we see in 3D significantly better. Okay, so tell me something. Now, it sounds like you've got lots of ideas for how to use these in the classroom. Does uh, Lumens provide ideas for teachers to use, or uh, once they get the product, they're on their own, they gotta figure it out themselves? Oh, we provide full training. So, for the last year at my school in Florida, we've been piloting this first program. We've been using it at the K-5 level in every classroom, every curriculum area, and we've been developing ideas, best practices to share with students. So by the time this is launched, there will be tutorial videos, lesson plan samples from K-12. When are they gonna launch it? frog dissection with it. Awesome. So. Frogs, frogs in 3D. That's <laughs> Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Okay, so when are they going to launch it? It's going to be in the next couple months. So you got to keep your eye out. You want to be one of the first to get on this innovative new tool. Me! I'm going to be one of the first. Okay, so okay, so let's see how it's working. Okay, so we put something under the, the, the lenses. Lenses. There. Okay, and then what happens? All right, up here on the screen. Okay, now it looks all blurry because it's in 3D, but I, uh, okay. So. That's correct. So your students would view it through 3D glasses. Like the 3D glasses they get at the uh, theaters? That's that, right. Basically, so they can go steal them from the theaters, <laughs> and then they don't have to buy extra ones, right? So. Because why give them back? Because you pay for them. You might as well. Why give them back? Right? So any manipulatives that you use, one of the neatest things we've seen is that the students will often create things in 3D, whether it's models out of clay, or in this case, pop-up illustrations That's to cool. share with their classroom. And so when that shows up, okay. Now, again, it's blurry because it's uh, because we're not using the glasses. That's correct. And we can't put glasses on the camera. But, <laughs> okay, but that's cool. And so we've just seen a huge change in the way our students process activities, demonstrate mastery. They're thinking in working models now instead of just wanting to write a few word answer. That's cool. So, so what grade do you teach in Florida? I work with K-5 technology. K-5? Okay, so that, that's cool. So you're seeing that the elementary kids are really responding to this Absolutely. kind of technology? Absolutely. Yeah, they go off crazy. <laughs> they love it. I mean, you got to think that today's kids have grown up in a world where 3D is common for them. They go to 3D movies. A lot of them have the Nintendo 3DS at home. Right. Some of them have 3D TVs, and so this is just a com you know a basic extension of what they're used to in technology every day. Awesome. Okay. So what uh, do we have a pricing yet on these or no? We what don't I'm know. What I'm hearing is in the 700s. 700 bucks. We'll have to wait and see for sure. Okay, but if we buy a million of them, it goes down to 695 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I, I hope you do buy a million of them. And uh, please tell me what that deal is. Okay, I will. <laughs> Nancy Blair, thanks for talking to us this morning. Thank you so Say much. Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Hello, everyone on YouTube. <laughs>Nancy, how are you? Hey, doing You're great. You're with Lumens. Absolutely. And Lumens is famous for their ladybugs because everybody's got a ladybug out there. That's right. But you got a new product out right we now. We do. Oh, this is... What is the new product? This is our brand new document camera. It's going to be released this year. Okay. It is the 3D ladybug. It's the world's a, very first 3D document.